It's been a while since we've been on the Darman channel. It's been over a year, so I thought we'd just revisit and see how he's been getting on. I'm here with Alex, a fellow Darman connoisseur. Evil principal gets revenge on problem kids. That could be a euphemism for so many different things. Like, what would you do if it opens up and it's just the learning support unit and he's just beating them to death? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got a problem with those kids. Why can't you learn your times table? Rich student pays kids to go to his birthday. There's one that's really caught my eye. School bully paralyzes a student. Oh my God. Yeah, but is he justified though? Is it self-defense? Yeah, yeah, that is the important question. Bullies find out poor boy's soccer legend. That's, that doesn't make sense. But the boy at school is a footballing legend. Wait, that's not a boy. It's just five foot six. That's Lionel Messi. What are we <laughs> bullying Lionel Messi for the last year and a half? <laughs> We need like a random generator that could just like spin through and just pick one of these. I'm gonna say rich student pays kids to go to his birthday. If it isn't Nate the nerd. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm playing Monster Legends while I'm waiting for my girl. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Not a real game, by the way. That game doesn't actually exist. That is a real game. It's, their fuck, it's the sponsor of the video, Alex. No, I know that, but I reckon if you click that link, your credit card information just gets sucked into the PC. <laughs> Friend. Girlfriend, like you have a girlfriend. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the hell? What, what has happened since we left our man? Monster Nations paid for 60 seconds and they're making sure they don't get a, get a second more than that. That was such an abrasive edit. Who are you? I'm his girlfriend. We met because we both love playing Monster Legends. <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course. Oh my God. Hot girls like video games? Only me and all of my girlfriends. <laughs> That's weird. What up, Cassie? Ever played Monster Legends? Wait, do oh you really God. play or are you just trying to impress me? Oh, I play. How else would I get the Darman monster from YouTuber Island? Or the Darman monster. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I would really like to take this brand new, but I got one. <laughs> one requirement. You put me in the game as a monster. I will not do it otherwise. Are you sure that's not your sister's phone? Anyway, I'm the goat. So if you can find someone that can beat me, I guarantee you I'll eat my socks. Did I just hear you call yourself the goat? You want a battle? You're going down, Nate the Nerd. Ugh, this is awful. I would never touch Monster Legends with a barge pole. Oh, hang on, hang on. How much are they offering? Yeah, okay. If they're off uh, Monster Legends, if you're offering, I will take it. We however, will do it. however, this is this is horrible. Bring it on, Billy the Bully. There's like a really like kind of uncanny valley about the sets of these. I I, I really yeah. don't like them. Like it looks like somewhere that you go to in a dream. Yeah, literally. I was just about to say that it looks like somewhere you go to in a dream. Ladies, this is like I, I think I had this dream last night. Look, you're him. You beat your school bully at Monster Legends, the sponsor game for this video, and then walked off with your arm interlinked with four girls. Download Monster Legends now <laughs> using my link in the description <laughs> or the QR code, and you will get a special free starter pack of 20,000 food, 100,000 gold, five gems, and 10 Darman monster cells. You get 10 Darman monster cells, Alex. You get 10. I don't know what that means, but you get 10 of them. I just want you to know that's exactly how he talks to the actors, by the way. If you're in this sketch, You'll get 20,000 food. <laughs> I promise I won't let you starve in here. <laughs> He 100% by the way has a lock on the door, like a big padlock where he locks all of them in there. Well, like a comically sized padlock, like it doesn't need to be that big. Now let's go ahead and start today's video. You excited about your birthday party, Otis? We got a DJ catering from your favorite restaurant. All your friends will be there. <laughs> what friends? All right, if you have a birthday party and you're getting catering from your favorite restaurant, what would it be? Kebab shop. <laughs> Your local kebab. Yeah, like, like, come on. Just, you know, some <laughs> some really plasticky tasting chicken nuggets. A burger that is definitely not beef. It's the, it's great. What, what else could you want? I would order one of those. Have you ever, you ever, like, ever go to the subway and they have, like, the... Order 52 six-foot subways for your birthday party. I'm like, did anybody ever do that? <laughs> But did anybody ever go, Mummy, Mummy, can I have 52 pre-made Subway sandwiches turn up? Do you just walk in there and go, I would like 52 sandwiches, please? I want to know, do they come like, is it pre-made, like, old BLT? Or do you have to sit there for every single sandwich and go, Olives, sweet corn. By the way, are you sure you don't want Drake to show up? <laughs> <laughs> can you just drop me off in the back, please? What? Most kids would love being seen getting out of a Rolls Royce. That's not a kid, he's 34. <laughs> 
Can we please just drop me off around that? All right, sweetie. Arnold, would you mind looping around to the back to drop Otis? Uh, if this guy is so rich, why is he at like a public school? Because like these kids are like getting gassed about Rolls Royces. Like, why is he? Why is he not going to a private school if he's so rich? See, I've seen a plot hole in this. Have a good day at school, sweetie. I'll try. You know it's how they're sitting in the back. So he's sat in the back with his mum. That is crazy. <laughs> you imagine being sat in the back of the car with your mum. That's so weird. That is weird. I've never seen my mum sit in the back of the car. Never. Like, it's weird thinking that. Like, you're an adult. Why are you, why are you sitting in the back of the car? Dark man videos are just like nightmarish creations. Like, they're not based on reality. They're like, they're so close to being right that they're just slightly they're off. Slightly off. And that's that triggers something in your brain. Yeah. You having a birthday? Yo, for real? Like me? For real, bro? Whoa, bro, you live in Beverly Hills? I'm gonna be there, my boy. I guess I'm gonna have two people coming to my birthday party. This is why I don't have birthday parties. Imagine if two people showed up. That'd be so embarrassing. I did that one party that one time and it was just the most stressful thing ever. I don't think I could ever do one ever again. Oh, oh, oh yeah, dude, I am so stoked to see this. Is that a second to add in the video? Oh, oh, oh yeah, dude, I am so stoked to see this. It's a second ad. I was worried that the Afterlife sequel was gonna be like a rehash of what the last films did, but this actually looks cool. And <laughs> It's not in the description or anything. That'd be even weirder if that wasn't sponsored by Ghostbusters. Yeah, what? So Darman just loves Ghostbusters. I don't know. Wait, what's up? Are you are you not eating? I actually think I'm gonna eat the lunch I brought. But I uh, I thought you were afraid of people judging you. Wait, what's he bought? Fifty two Subway sandwiches, I think. <laughs> it would be so much cooler if I had like like a hundred people there. Okay, let me ask you something. Would you rather have four quarters? Or a dollar. A dollar, obviously. Yeah, but he's talking about the quality of friends because, like, a dollar is is a really high quality friend. But if you got four quarters, that's like four not very high quality friends. It's the metaphor, Alex. It's a famous metaphor. Yeah. Also, if you lose one of the quarters because like you fall over or something, then you've not got all of them anymore. Whereas no, if, exactly. Whereas yeah. a dollar is easy to hold on to. Women. I love how the air is just breezing through the cafeteria. Close your mouth, you're practically drooling. Nobody does that in real life. That's not a real thing that happens. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Nobody actually does that. This is not real. What does your dad do? Actually, my mom, uh, she owns her own consulting company. Wow, so you're like really, really rich. What, is it, what does that, a consulting company do, George? They'll be like, so Alex, your thumbnails on your videos are not very good. You should put yourself in the corner like... And then, like, ten bajillion dollars. Do you think uh, we could get an invite? Yeah, of course. I mean, just... And he pulls out an AR-15, and he blows everyone away. When are we getting the Darman school shooter video, George? I don't think we're getting that, Alex. I don't think that'll be monetized. Yeah, but these characters give off that vibe, don't they? Like, he does a bit. He's got no friends, nobody likes him. I mean, they like him now because he's got a, a Rolls Royce, but maybe things like that don't happen in this perfect universe, where there are fruit on the walls and stuff. Oh, yeah, but I didn't think about that. It's a perfect universe with fruit on the walls, and that wouldn't happen there. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like, when they lick that, it tastes of orange. At the... Sorry, uh, were you saying something? I, I, I couldn't hear you over my heart pounding. I mean, Emma's actually going oh to my birthday party. Yeah, because you live in a mansion. The other guy's like putting in a decent acting job and that is makes it even the more jarring. Well, because everyone else is terrible. <laughs> yeah, I think he takes the Darman thing really seriously. Like he's like, yeah, this could really He's much. like, this is my gateway into doing- um, Full-time acting. Full-time acting, like like being in the Marvel movies or something. And good luck to him. Well, Julia Nicole and I were talking about going shopping for outfits. We thought it'd be cool if you guys came. Uh, no, sorry, we've been playing. Yeah, we'd love to. The, the movie seemed lame anyway. Okay, maybe this is, maybe this isn't sponsored by Ghostbusters because they just called it lame. That's horrible because he's wearing a Ghostbusters t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck are you wearing that? And he goes, I, it's ironic, actually. It's an ironic t shirt. And then they think he's really cool. Me when they say they don't like Rage comics and I have to zip up my troll face t shirt. <laughs> Instant ick when a man pulls out. <laughs> pulls out his like fabric lunchbox with handles at age 35. Yeah, man, where's your SpongeBob lunchbox? Yeah, my chef made it for me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> looks really good. You mind if I have some? Oh, of course. I mean, you can have it all. Oh, uh, when I'm hitting on a girl, so I give her my Greg sausage roll. <laughs> Here, have my Tesco meal deal. I just hand her an egg and cress mayo sandwich. <laughs> a scotch egg. <laughs> scotch egg. <laughs> Very one of those bo pot of boiled eggs. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Would you like to kiss me? <laughs> Why don't we share one of the boiled eggs together? Oh my gosh, you even have someone to open the door for you? This is Graham-worthy. Can you get a pic of us? This is Graham-worthy. Nobody has ever said that. It's just Darman thinks people say that. This is Graham-worthy. Could you imagine saying that like you proposed to your girlfriend? And you go, oh, by the way, this is Graham-worthy. I pushed him off a cliff. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh, you can't go in the back. My mum's in there. My mummy's in there. Mummy's in there. Mummy sits in the back seat every time. So please, guys, get in the boot. It's one of those boots you got like, you know, we can pull up the extra seats. Yeah. <laughs> what, like it in like a, a Ford Galaxy? Mate, that used to blow my mind when like people would turn up, they'd have the extra seats in the back of the car. That, that dress is incredible, aren't you? Aw, thanks, Oscar. It actually Otis but th but that's fine do you think he's gonna pay for it all? Oh, of course you should offer to pay for it yeah that'd be really sweet like a total knight in shining armor moment <sighs> oh my god they just oh. told him he's gonna be a simp but he's just oh. and he, and he's just gonna accept it these are the nicest shades I've ever seen who are these people they're 40 each <laughs> if you had the chance for a rich person to buy you stuff why would you pick sunglasses oh uh, well look at them get a PlayStation no but look at them look how cool they look I heard Emma talking in the fitting room and dude they're just using you okay so <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to do with my life and my money. I will champion women forever. Do you have any idea what it's like to be the only person never invited to anything? and never have anyone show up to their parties. The thing is, right, George, it's probably because he wears a fucking Ghostbusters shirt to school. Nah, you, I mean, you dressed worse. I did. And do you think anybody was turning up to my birthday parties, George? <laughs> Obviously not. I used to wear to college, I used to wear a full Sonic t-shirt that was blue and the entire thing was a Sonic t-shirt. No, you didn't. I will find you the t-shirt that I used to wear to college. Are you ready for this? You used to wear a, what, was this an everyday thing? Did you just have, like, have no, a free I cycle out? I interchange it for my Walking Dead t-shirt. I think this might be something that just doesn't actually exist anymore. But basically it was along the lines of something that looked I mean this is a woman wearing it, but it looked a bit like this. <laughs> You're joking! You did not wear that! What, is that what you wore to college? I got a Primark for like, for like four quid! It was a Primark! <laughs> you wore that every day to college? You're taking the piss! I found it. Okay, go on, send it, send it. <laughs> go on, send this, send this, please. Please send this. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I did. It you was, did not wear it this was, to college. It was that, yeah. But did it wrap around the back and everything? Yeah, it was the entire shirt. Was was the Sonic Vivian game. <laughs> oh, <crazy. laughs> that was what I used to wear to college. You'd seriously not come to my party. We've been best friends since like the sixth grade. And I wish you take my advice. This is just so, this is like breaking back <laughs> level intense. When you come to realize that a dollar is better than a hundred pennies. A hundred pennies. You know to find me. This is so intense. I'm actually really sad now. It's so intense for some reason. The lesson of friendship, George, cannot be understated. Like that was a top 10 Darman acting moment. That was, I would argue top five. Since I'm gonna be your date, right? What do you think? The thing is, now he's aware, I feel like he's planning something really kind of strange and, and nefarious. I'm kind of worried now. I feel like My he's... friend Jeffrey has a private plane and a private island. Yeah, just come with me and me and Jeffrey over here. Ignore the fact that he's like 45 years old. Just come over here. I mean, he looks... 15 years older than all of them. Shopping, we had the best time. Yeah, my wardrobe was in need of a- Oh my god, these aren't even real houses! It's like Nuke Town. Oh my god, he's- Yeah, it actually is. It's, everything's not real, I don't like it. Go back, look at the grass. It's an astro. Do you reckon Dharma videos are filmed on the fucking moon? Boy, he's colonized the moon to make his videos. Maybe he has. Thanks so much for taking us shopping. We had the best time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where the 
fuck does that? Who, whose house is in the middle of like a coffee shop? Like this is like a coffee shop garden. Whose house is it? Hey yo, we'll see you tonight. Uh, no, 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 my uh, party's tomorrow. Yeah, I know that. I'm talking about Emma's party tonight. <gasps> He hasn't been invited. Oh my God, that's mental. Surely you just invite him anyway, because you want him to be your friend. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a party. I mean, there's not even going to be any music. It's more like a- And this isn't even a real house. There's nothing behind here. It's just, it's just a set. No, it's just the void. If you go out there, you never, never come back. Anyway, uh, thanks again. And I can't wait to see your house. <laughs> they must know he's creepy, because he is creepy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> You just see him jacking his hog. Like, <laughs> he's just there watching Instagram stories going out. Look at that, he's jacking his hog. You can't tell me he's not. Hey, honey. Your grandparents got you a birthday card. If he is so rich, and this might be ironic coming from me, of all people, why is he walking around in a Ghostbusters t-shirt? He wants to blend in, doesn't he? What do you expect him to rock up to school in Louis Vuitton? He needs a rainbow Louis Vuitton hoodie. Actually, Mom, I just got invited to a party. Can I go? He has not learned his lesson. Not one bit. Do you think they're gonna like bring him there and do something crazy to him? They're just gonna rob him. They're gonna be like, give us your card. Come on, mom. What's the last time I got invited to a party? Please, please, please. He's gonna get there and gonna go, well, oh, we've run out of enough money for food and we, we had like 54 Subway sandwiches lined up on delivery, <laughs> so we need your card details. <laughs> okay, I'll have Arnold take you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> his mum saying, I'll take you, like she's just gonna sit in the back seat with him. <laughs> He's got to drive. Yeah, what? He's got to drive it. Why does he need to? Yeah, ask don't her? even fucking ask her. Just slip him a tenner and he'll do it. Surely. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, very real house. A real house. Hey, thanks for the invite. Oh, am I not coming inside? Actually, that's not why I texted you. I was wondering if I could borrow some money. Oh no. Briggs thought it'd be a good idea to skate inside, so he broke the TV. And I need to fix that before my parents get back, because if they find out I have a party, they'll kill me. I'll be grounded for like a month. Oh no. Ah. Please, Otis. Oh my God, a touch of a woman. It's too much for him to handle. You know my name. Of course I know your name. It was on your credit card. <laughs> You're such a good friend. Yep, jokes on you. That's not even real money. That's dar man dollars. It's dar dollars. It's not a real thing that you could use. You can only use them in general store and restaurant. The actor breaks out of the dar man cage, goes to like a store. He's like, I need, I, I need water. I need to buy. And they go, this is not real money. And he realizes that his entire existence has been based off of a faux concept and nothing is real. Plan worked. I have the money to buy more drinks. How fucking loud is she talking? Is she speaking into a megaphone? I have enough money to buy more drinks! Paul Rudd. Oh, he's watching Ghostbusters. <laughs> Does in your party start in like an hour? What's the point of a party if my best friend's not going to be there? Oh, I know the twist, George. What? They're gay. He's going to realise that he's gay. They're going to end with rimming each other, and that will be the final shot, and it will pan out through the ceiling. Yeah, it's going to be great. You think? Yeah. Oh, OK. Well. I got so caught up in being popular that I forgot about the one person who's always had my back. My mum. My driver. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking me everywhere. What do you say we see the new Ghostbusters movie? Said nobody ever. What the fuck kind of set of ourselves tickets like this? Are you in the 1970s? Those are like plane tickets. <laughs> Where'd you get those? We better really just pull out a QR code. I texted everyone and said it was cancelled. Well, almost everyone. I didn't text Emma. I found her mom's number and messaged her instead. He's a freak. That's weird. He called her mum. No wonder they didn't like him, by the way. I think we found out why he doesn't have any friends. No, nah, he's justified. He is justified. Did you throw a party last night? What? Where'd you even hear that? Some unknown person text me this. Care to explain? Real theatre, that is. <laughs> Real theatre. Jesus Christ. What movies do you think they're showing? Ghostbusters and Frozen Kingdom. That's a real movie. <sighs> oh, shoot. I forgot I lent Emma all that money. I'm a little short. Oh, I got you, bro. 
Thanks. They hope this is gay, coded. They're in love. They just they just skimmed their fingers together. That was they felt their hearts stop as they peered into each other's eyes. Hey bro! Once again, thanks to Monster. Oh my god, Dom! Oh no, Monster Legends! Click the link in the description to download now. He looks so out of place. I've just seen this one. Millionaires tries to scam wrong guy. Hey guys, um, is there anything I can help you out with? Jake? Charlie? Bro! Yo, my guy. Man, it's been forever. I feel as though I've seen this guy in something that isn't a Darman video. Although it's probably a Darman video I'm remembering. I've seen him, from. him in so many Darman videos. You know, I may have made a couple bucks since high school. Yeah. A couple <laughs> a couple bucks, man. Yeah. I see the necklace. It does give you the uncanny valley feeling. I was watching the new episode of The Walking Dead, right? And there's these people who are like need to be saved. And the guy turns around and it's King Batch. <laughs> What? Yes. Did he have the big spoon? <laughs> yeah, he was fighting them off with a giant spoon. You That's like nice. that? Yeah. I brought you lunch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you remember Jake? Yo. It's fucking pinely. <laughs> Do you know, I was going <laughs> to say this before, but I didn't say it. I, I refrained in the earlier one from saying that guy on the skateboard is pinely, but it is. It's the it, same guy on the skateboard. I didn't. I, I, I didn't it know. is, yeah. I, I was going to say it, but I thought, I'm not going to do it. Is, that. It is. It is pinely. It is pinely. <laughs> Congratulations. Charlie looks like you made a couple bucks for yourself, too, man. Well, I mean, that was my whole life savings. It's <laughs> 25k. Who the fuck spends 25 grand on an engagement ring? Is that normal? Is that a normal amount to spend on a ring? Something that could get stolen? Somebody who loves their girlfriend, I'd assume. 25 grand? Like, do you, can, you, can you really love someone 25 grand much? No, you can't. Uh, so what, what, what brings you in, man? I mean, you, you see anything you like? Yes. yes. Your wife. Okay, well, I see you got some good taste. All right, all right, well... All right, so this piece... Why is he looking at it like that? Finally, stop looking at it like that, please. <laughs> Can you take American Express? It, that does exceed our limit, but let me see what I can do. Oh, he's he's going to charge it back, isn't he? It's a credit card. He's going to go, oh, I didn't, I didn't do that. I, I didn't want it. that. Oh. I didn't want this cool painting. I'm pinely. Why would I have a need for this? Whatever you do, promise me you're not going to be friends with him again. You remember what they called him in high school? Jake the snake, doesn't he still owe you like a hundred bucks? You know what they say, when people show you their true colors, believe them the first time. Do they say that? Yeah, I don't know who she's speaking to, but uh, what friends do you have that say crazy fucking shit like that? <laughs> they just speak in like Marcus Aurelius quotes, like philosophical shit just constantly. It's like the guy before who just went, would you rather have a dollar or four quarters? It's like nobody would ever say that. They go, why don't you just fucking fuck them off? That's what they'd actually say. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all right if I charge this car ten thousand dollars? He wants to buy the Maxwell. You know, anything over twenty five hundred dollars has to be a wire transfer or cash, unless you want to vouch for this guy. This is going to turn into like a thing where he has to hunt him down. And it's going to be like an action thriller movie where he hunts him down to get his money. Oh, I hope so. That'd be a nice change of pace with the, the Darman videos. Does Jake live? Hey, 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 come on in, man. Hey, what's going? On? Make yourself a home, man. Mi casa es tu casa. Oh, and thank you so much for bringing this, man. It really means a lot. You can put it right here. Right. Does he live in a school? Who has white brick painted walls? This is a very interesting looking interior of one of the Darman houses. Like the fact that there's like a clearly a class system is quite interesting. And the art you got here? I mean, I know how much this is worth. It's, you got some great taste. They're not going to show it because there's just nothing beyond where they're looking. It's, it's, just, it, it's just black. It's just black. It's just like a black. Like, it's nothing. They're looking into the heart of the universe and it's driving them mental. mental. Hey, baby cakes. Uh, do you mind giving us some space? Girl. Yeah, baby what cakes. To the other girl? I mean, you can't wear the same shirt every day, am I right? Too right. Am I right, Alex? Yeah. That's why I have seven girlfriends. So I wore my Sonic t-shirt and I wore my Walking Dead t-shirt <laughs> interchangeable because you can't wear the same one every day. I wanted to address the elephant in the room. Um, I believe I borrowed $300 from you back in high school and I never paid you back. Take the money, man. Come on. It's yeah, fake. It's dollar dollars. <laughs> Sir, who is that? It's just the chef, I guess. Where do these people train to be like chefs and stuff? Is there like a universe? Is there like a culinary college? A is kitchen, there like I think, maybe. Where do these people train to be chefs, I wonder? No, but like, maybe is there like a, a kitchen? Is there a culinary college in the Darman universe? How, do they get their qualif- Where do they get their qualifications from, Alex? They have DCSEs, which is- Star Certificate of Secondary Education. Stay, have a bite. Look, Jeremy here trained under Chef Nobu. Okay, I kid you not, he's his right hand man. Look, Jeremy here 
trained under Chef Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, he's the best around. He's trained under Ronald McDonald. He is the best guy for the job. Man, seeing how you live in this is like... This house actually seems to be quite flushed out. It's almost terrifying. No, it isn't. It isn't. They've walked in, there's a kitchen island and white paint painted over a brick wall. Like, this isn't flushed out. Look at the mill. They can't have any brands in the Darman universe. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do? I do a couple different things. I make YouTube videos. Uh, they're really quite good, actually. My name's Pindley. Hey, man, whatever you're doing is working out. <laughs> Look, man, check this out. Mm. <laughs> we all do that when we see a, a, an estranged friend. We just show them our bank account. Out of curiosity, what kind of return would I get? All right, so for my normal friends, um, I double their money in about three months. But since we go way back, you know, I got you, so I'm gonna double yours in just one month. What does that even mean? What is the business arrangement? I thought he was gonna teach him the secrets of his business, not go, I'll give me money and then I'll give you double back in a month. This is like, you know, like on RuneScape when someone would be like, oh, I'll double your GP if you send it to me. We tend to think of Ponzi schemes as pyramid schemes. Oh my God, they got a TV. There's a TV network in the Darman universe. There's an economy in the Darman universe. Florida exists in the Darman universe. My guy, what's going on? Good to see ya. It's our Oh, hey. That is such a shit jacket. That's some shit you'd wear. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Check out this new Rolex I just got. Ooh. Yeah, pretty pimping, pimping, right? It's way too big for his wrist. He should get it sized. That's definitely um, Darman's Rolex that he's. Darex. <laughs> True, yeah, it's the in brand version. I know, I don't even have to ask, but I just wanted to check uh, everything good for next week. I, I deposited the money into your account this morning. Wait. Yeah, you, yeah, you should have it already. Wait. What? Yeah? Bro, it's, it's not even supposed to hit for another three days. Oh, no, he's, got, he's gonna put that in and he's gonna lose it all. Do you reckon that's how he does it? Do you reckon that's how he runs his scheme? Actually, I don't even know why he'd do that. Why wouldn't he just, because he'd just have 10 grand, like total. Well, you gain more trust when he says, oh, well, sometimes we lose. GTA ass website. That is not a real website. That's the website <laughs> I bought my flat on in GTA. Come here, I gotta show you this house. Look at this. $6,000 a month? For that? Where, where the fuck are you buying that and getting that for six grand a month? Jesus Christ. 12 rooms, five bathrooms. Fucking hell. Quick, let's move. We can't be spending money like this. We, we're supposed to be saving for a house. Like, we're fine. Come on, it's free money. We're supposed to be saving for a house. I have a $25,000 wedding ring on. This doesn't make any sense, George. So, like, if I, if I give you 10, you'll give me back 30. Not really. 25 is the minimum investment for this, but yeah, if you give me 25. Oh, that's how he's got him. I wish I had 25. But yeah. <gasps> oh, he's, oh, he's gonna sell the ring. Does it have to be cash? Oh my God, no way. Hey, Charlie, we need to talk. What, what is everything all right? Everything is not okay. Do you remember that $10,000 American Express purchase that you vouched for? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just got a charge back. The payment never went through. I thought you said this guy was your friend. Aren't you happy you didn't invest any more money with him? <clears throat> Charlie? Oh my god, George. This is really intense. What the fuck? <laughs> what have we just we've accidentally just been put into a real TV show? We had an agreement. Now not only is my ring gone, you, you owe all this money to your boss? You've completely thrown away our future. No. No, I wasn't trying to. It's the exact opposite of what I wanted. This is gonna make me cry, George. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Me feel something. I was blinded. By the vision of us having the life we always dreamed. I'm sorry, Tyra. And I know it doesn't cut it, but I, I really am. This is actually like decent. <laughs> like, this bit is actually quite decent. Yeah, I forgot I was watching a Dharma video. Look, man, the cops keep messing with me. I don't know why. I keep trying to tell them I'm innocent. I don't know why they're just not hey, listening. Man, you gotta believe me, right? I do. I believe you. That's why I'm here to help you out. George, they're gonna put Pinely away for 25 years. Sell my paintings. Yes, look, listen, listen, listen. I already got a buyer lined up, ready to pay in cash today. They're gonna be fakes, they're gonna be big fakes. Look, I'm gonna help you get these paintings off the wall. Do you, do you have any more in the back? Or... Yeah, man, I got some in the Okay, yeah, go get those, go get, I'll get them. He's stealing. No, he's not, he's selling them. $225,000. It's all here. You gotta steal.
Enjoy your paintings, Mrs. Murray. That can't be a real business where you hand over money in a bag like that in cash. This is to clear our debt. And this is all yours. Gee, what? What is their business? I'm just saying there is enough here to put a down payment on a house. He's not the one who did the paintings. What did you mean? Well, you took them from Jake's house, didn't you? Yeah, but why, if he works under her and he's getting all the money? Yeah, she probably feels bad for him because he had like 25 grand. Oh, it's an act of kindness to give somebody yeah. a quarter of a million dollars. Sure. I didn't scam nobody, man. Okay, I already told you this. The feds are lying. Okay, Charlie, look. I need that money right now, so don't play with me, man. You know what, Jake the Snake? If I learned anything from this, it's that when people show you their true colors, believe them the first time. Oh. Yeah! Just got owned. Rock music should come in at this point. I just sold another one. I'm getting more business than ever. Well, it probably doesn't hurt that you're on the news for helping all those people. I'm gonna cry. This is so emotional. I already bought lunch today, babe. It isn't lunch. A Rolex in a takeaway box. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. I can tell it's fake. I can tell it's fake. What's that? She bought him a fake Rolex. Look, it ticks. It doesn't sweep. It ticks there. And also, that's not the Rolex symbol. Thank God we've got watch expert George Mimulus here today. So, that young man over there, Stevie, says he knows you. He says you went to high school together. Wait a minute. Isn't that sleazy Stevie, the guy who totally ripped you off? <laughs> how, many, how many times did this guy get scammed in high school? I don't, I, I don't think I got scammed once in secondary school. How has this guy come into contact with two people that scammed him? Yeah, what is going on here? No, no, no. no. I'm not doing this. Sir. Oh, there was no Darman monologue at the end. Darman thought that that one spoke for itself. Uh, but like and subscribe.